Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India is surrounded with troubling neighbors. At western border we have Pakistan who live and die only to fight India and at northern and northeastern borders we have the expansionist China who literally claims entire world with their own. Besides the threat on land India has vast maritime border at southwestern and southeastern part that also need to be secured from increasing presence of Chinese vessels and navy. India at present has two aircraft carriers and the discussions and debates are going on for the third aircraft carrier. Our previous naval chief Admiral Karambir Singh had clearly said that Indian Navy must have a third carrier to match China and the good news is that the standing committee on defense has now made a strong recommendation for the third aircraft carrier for Indian Navy as reported today by Economic Times the committee has suggested that future acquisition plans need to take into consideration the requirement to enhance combat capabilities and submitted its report to parliament the aircraft carrier is always a matter of discussion due to the huge cost involved in building them if india decides to build third aircraft carrier it will cost close to 16 to 17 billion dollars along with aircrafts which is approximately 30% of indian defense budget however if developed indigenously the money spent rotates inside the country's economy also the high cost factor that is cited does not take into account the long period involved in making the aircraft carrier which generates huge employment opportunities provides business to local industries and encourages indigenous ship building there is no denying that aircraft carriers are expensive assets but only when one considers their initial cost of acquisition according to a report by new delhi based manohar parikar institute of defense studies and analysis idsa when this cost is divided over the average life of an aircraft carrier which could be anywhere from 40 to 45 years it works out similar to two destroyers with an average life span of 25 years as we know that aircraft carriers have to undergo maintenance periodically for couple of months considering only two aircraft carriers for india if one undergoes maintenance the navy will be left with only one carrier operating either in southeastern region or southwestern region leaving the other region vulnerable the aircraft carrier faces bigger threat with ever improving ballistic cruise missiles and submarines as part of the adversary's anti access area denial capability surface ships and aircraft can also launch increasingly sophisticated anti ship missiles from far distances china's h6k bomber for instance has a range of 3000 kilometers and its yj12 cruise missiles another 400 km similarly china is developing long range missiles that are maneuverable and accurate enough to hit large ships at sea china's df21d an anti ship ballistic missile that can travel over 1500 km is already a bigger threat in fact many other countries are building cheaper anti ship cruise missiles which fly shorter distances but can be launched from planes anti ship missiles are growing in range precision and number and making big carriers sitting duck in the process at the same time su30 mkis armed with brahmos a supersonic cruise missile can better police the indian ocean region against china's expanding naval footprint in the area other platforms can also do the job more efficiently than the aircraft carriers with lesser vulnerabilities the argument therefore is that instead of spending such a huge amount on a third carrier the navy should invest in other vessels such as corvettes mine sweepers destroyers and frigates naval utility helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles 
and other assorted missiles and ordnance which can better utilize its rather limited budget do let us know what is your opinion as well regarding the third aircraft carrier this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector <laughs>